every degree has major consequences. We're talking about the Earth headed to the ICU, but we have the choice to say, no, I don't want to see that movie. I hear the actors are bad, I hear the ending's terrible. Just so we're clear, you do want to see our movie though, right? Absolutely. Okay. This is a good movie because we're talking about the ability to actually make a difference. Andrew here recently conducted a study that could help save our planet from reaching the boiling point. The only problem? He's sitting on a treasure trove of useful information, but so far only his local newspaper has shared the findings. Today, we're gonna change that. Let's go change the world. One question, five bucks. It's a mathematical question. All right, scientists say Earth is heating up at a global temperature increase of 2.7 degrees Celsius. What is that temperature in Fahrenheit? What the f am I supposed to know that, man? What's up, Sutton? We got a big episode for you today. We're on our way to New Mexico. How comfortable are you with the metric system? I'm not very. I'm pretty horrible at both math and numbers and yes. Celsius. Same. So apparently we're not alone. My name's Andrew Ungerleiter. I call myself an echopreneur. Andrew might look like the coolest CEO around, but he recently discovered something that's not so cool. The metric system means nothing to Americans. So what percentage of Americans know what Celsius is, know how to convert? Well, let's look at the uh, results. 70% of people did not know how to convert. And that's a problem because Americans are less likely to care about climate change if they don't understand these headlines. So we joined him on his morning walk to find out how we can help. We are about to go on a little hike with Andrew. I, as a red-blooded American, grew up in a school in which they tried to introduce us to the metric system. Multiply by nine-fifths and plus 32. And it was a disaster. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're in the film. Look for yourself on Netflix. Just kidding. <laughs> What got you interested in this global temperature issue? I read somewhat voraciously, mostly looking for articles about global warming. As I was reading, I really began to wonder how many Americans know how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'm not really sure. But if they want America on board... And they, they should be communicating it in an equivalent manner so that we understand that 2.7 is closer to 5 degrees. Five. Five degrees. And we only have 6 degrees before we're all toast. You might be wondering, what does a 5 degree temperature increase even mean? And the short answer is trouble. Farming and food production will move into irreversible decline, causing famine across dozens of countries. Heat waves in urban areas will be responsible for thousands of deaths every year. And instead of absorbing carbon, these beautiful plants all around us would begin to release it back into the atmosphere as the soil begins to rot. We're bringing in the reverend and the rabbi to begin last rites. I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to happen. This catastrophic sequence of events is called the tipping point basically the point of no return. So I wanted to conduct a poll to contribute in some small way. One of the key findings was that 85% of both Democrats and Republicans agree that it needs to be in Fahrenheit for the American audience. That's pretty interesting. Do you think it'd be valuable if we test the poll? I think we should probably... Boots on the ground? Boot go boots on the ground, go undercover, and try to see if these results hold up. Absolutely. Maybe a little qualitative data to your quantitative. Absolutely. Well, we've got our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. But we plan on 
coming up with something pretty special. Cool. I can't wait to hear it. We needed to test these poll results for ourselves, so we came to the hottest place we know, Venice Beach. Hot people, hotter opinions. Let's get to it. 2.7 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. Yeah, about a Fahrenheit and a half or something. What's that? Fahrenheit and a half? What does that convert to in Fahrenheit? Fuck. Do you know? I'm an American, and uh, there's no such thing as a three-quarter inch wrench. Damn, I don't know shit. Yeah, about to look dumb as <laughs> When you see in the newspapers that global temperatures are on track to rise 2.7 degrees Celsius. What does that mean in Fahrenheit? What does 2.7 degrees Celsius convert to? <laughs> they ain't never teach us. Can I use my calculator? Give it a shot. Let me see. Would it be 4.86? Matter of fact, that's exactly what it is. You're the first person that's gotten it exactly right today? If I didn't have a calculator, I wouldn't know how to do it. I'm fine, I was rich. Five dollars, thank you so much. That felt good. Our qualitative research was clear as day, proving Andrew's poll was right all along. Most Americans don't know shit about Celsius. It was time to return to New Mexico to present our plan to Andrew. Shades or no shades? I think you want him to see your eyes. How's my wrinkles? None. Showtime. You look great. I look great too. Ready to go. All right. We are excited to show you what we found. Oh, wow. Test, test. Oh, now, brown cow. Testing works. Andrew, thanks so much for having us back. We have a little presentation based on your poll findings and everything else we learned from you. Go for it. First, we went to Venice Beach, just asking people if they knew what 2.7 Celsius degrees meant in Fahrenheit. If global temperatures rise another 2.7 degrees Celsius, we're kind of screwed. Yeah. Have you heard that? Yeah. Do you know what 2.7 Celsius is in Fahrenheit? Can I call a friend? Like if your body temperature rose five degrees from 98 degrees to 103. Technically I'd be sick. That's not good, right? Yeah. Across the board, we realized that hardly anyone knows. And that's a big problem because they're much less inclined to care about climate change if they don't understand the very studies that are coming out from the IPCC. Yeah. Do you think if climate studies were published in Fahrenheit that it would help you care? Yeah. Because, I mean, we don't use a metric system, so I feel like, yeah. Unless it's Fahrenheit, I'm just like, that means, I don't know what that means. What would help you learn? What, what, like, how should, we, how should we go about teaching? We were asking people, you know, what would help. Of course, people said education, but a lot of folks said, like a melody or a song. Songs? It's music. That's like the number one way to get down something is through music. Make it fun. Yeah. Make it fun. Learn. Okay. Yeah, they did a song now, but they probably learned that shit quick. We realized that the most successful way to educate people are songs. You look at the ABCs. Historically, we've learned the most important things we know today, the very letters we spell our words with, from songs. We want to bring that concept to this issue. And so, we called up one of the hottest producers we know. Please don't embarrass me. I would not do that. I'm you're, excited. You ready? I'm ready. Hey, what's, what's good, good? guys? You ready? ready? How you guys want to make a song? Yeah, that's right. Zach Stryer is one of the best music producers I've ever worked with. I don't know much about music. I'm glad you have a contact. We're trying to start a conversation and, and get everyone on the same page. Something people want to dance to. Let's start with drums. We're about to lay down the first instrument. Let's get started. Drums. Drums. Oh, that's a good one. So what are you looking for? What do you mean it's a good one? It just has the sonic quality that we need. Sonic quality. You know, Write that down. And he was up for the challenge. He loves a good challenge and he also cares a lot about the environment. So he was the perfect candidate to get in the studio all night long. I just want to be on the cover of I like that. <laughs> this is called the verse. Yeah. Verse, one. verse one. We're talking from 9 p.m. until, well, dusk, really. Yeah. Wait, dawn? Yeah. Dusk <laughs> till dawn. 
guys, guys, we, we still got to do the Celsius first. We wanted to touch on universal themes of two friends who are at ends with each other because one has kind of had more success than the other and one is relegated to just one country. Home of the brave, land of the free. And as they go through this journey, they're realizing that we've hit a boiling point and the only way that we can move forward is by doing it together. Correct. One, one team. Yeah. Fahrenheit, let's see us. The music video will kick off with a birthday party. And during the birthday party, a little girl makes a wish. Are you gonna make a wish, honey? I wish the world would come together to fight climate change by specifically using Fahrenheit and Celsius so that we all know what the hell is going on. What the hell? The ocean sure is warmer than I remember it. What are you doing here? You look worse than I remember. Well, there must be a reason we were put here together. I don't want to be anywhere near you. You must wipe me off the planet. Come on, you can't just leave. I'm getting away from you. Fahrenheit, you get back here. I say get back here, Fahrenheit. I was the first big degree. But I guess things change, now I see. It's only one place that's left for me Home of the brave Land of the free You're the talk of the town, you're the big sea Know there's times that we fought hard feelings But the planet can't stand it, damn it Only point environmentally It's only right we cut down all of Figure it out. Got a good beat to it already. Mm -hmm. Feels very modern and contemporary. Modern and contemporary. Which I like. Nice. And very catchy for especially young people. The Big C is great. I love that. Really gets the message across at the same time. Super entertaining. And then that kind of takes us to the big thing, which is the drop. How do we release this? And most of all, how do we get people to care a little more than they do now? Number one. This is a demo. So by creating a competition on TikTok, I love that. say that one more time. Yeah, I love that. Just great idea. We'd offer a thousand dollar grand prize to see which artist can cover the song the best. If you like what you just heard, we've got exciting news for you. Do you like cash money? Do you make music? We're offering a big cash prize. A thousand dollars. To whoever can remake Boiling Point, the best. Point. What's the best? Our producer, Zach Stryer, is gonna choose his favorite cover. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever that is? Cash money, prize. Thousand dollars. Go to our website here to download the instrumental and the lyrics, or head to our TikTok. Use this sound and write your own verse. 
If you have no sense of pitch, like someone I know, we've reached the boiling point mathematically, and don't feel like paying your friend to teach you, dude, that's hard. We still need your help. We've set up a petition at change.org. Let the UN and the IPCC know that when they publish crucial climate data, like a 2.7 degree temperature increase, it needs to be in both Fahrenheit and Celsius to help us all understand the stakes of this insanely important tipping point. Wow. Seriously? Mm -hmm. According to who? What scientist? Uh, that, that's according to reports across, I believe, from the, the, UN. the UN. That's brutal. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's not just like happy warm weather, it's a hole in the ozone layer and a depletion in yeah, yeah the atmosphere, sure. Right. That's awful. Yeah. Well, thanks for playing, Dan. Yeah.